Hey guys, my name is Matsumio, and today I want to talk about some ways that I believe that Ubisoft can improve Rainbow Six Siege. Now, I'm not going to talk about netcode or server stability or the matchmaking system, because those should already be pretty obvious. Ubisoft already needs to do everything they can to make those systems flawless. I wanted to go over maybe some smaller things that would greatly improve the game. And so to start things off, I think there needs to be some way for us to turn off parts of our UI when we do certain actions. Now, I know that there is something already sort of like this in the game. If you go into your options menu, you, you can turn off the white the white outline around your teammates for example you guys have probably noticed in my gameplay I don't have white outlines around my teammates because I found it to be very distracting the thing is though is I wish they would take that a step further I'm sure you guys have had moments where you're trying to take the objective you're on offense or even on defense sometimes and the enemy is directly on the objective itself so let's say they're playing on bomb and they're right behind the bomb if you're really far away you probably noticed that that icon above of the bomb itself actually obscures your vision and makes it really difficult to see if you actually see an enemy around said objective. I have died over and over and over again because there's really no way reliably to turn that thing off. It would be great if there was an option where if I aim down sights, it eliminates the bomb icon. If I'm ADS, I already know where the objective is located. I'm scouting out for enemies at this point and have that icon obstruct, obstruct my vision and potentially get me killed because I just simply can't see the enemy at that point. That is incredibly frustrating. This system could even be taken a step further. If you look on over at Battlefield, for example, they have a really nice dynamic and a lot of customization options for something along these lines. When I aim down sight in Battlefield, my UI changes quite dramatically. Uh, the nameplates above my teammates, for example, disappear. I don't need that clutter on my screen. I want to see what's going on in front of me, and having unnecessary UI elements just detracts from everything and makes my job more challenging. It would be amazing if we were able to integrate that same type of system into Rainbow Six Siege. As I mentioned, I don't run around with the, the white outline around my teammates. What if we had a system in place where if I was just run around the map, I could see the white outline. It gives you a lot of valuable information. It lets you know where the where your teammates are located. But as soon as I aim down sight, it disappears so I no longer have that obstruction. I think this would be a great step in the right direction. The next thing I would love to see, which I realize may never happen because it would require a lot of time investment on the part of Ubisoft, is to update some of the old maps to make some of the objectives more viable. There are some objectives when you play on ranked which you never see. I I'm sure you've noticed a trend when you're on uh, some maps, for example, where you can basically predict every single time where the objective is going to be located. A really good example of this is Clubhouse. How often are you playing the first couple of rounds in the basement for Armory? It doesn't matter what objective you're playing, secure, hostage, or bomb, pretty much 100% of the time, your team and the enemy team, when they're on defense, is picking downstairs because it's just the easiest one to defend. And while that isn't the worst thing, because it's okay to have some objectives that are worse than others, I think a lot of people would agree that there are some points that feel like it's almost impossible to win on defense. And so the suggestion that I have, and I realize this would be very, very difficult, is that I know the game's been out for a really long time, is that hopefully they could could take some of this knowledge, realize that maybe some of these objectives need some slight tweaking, and go in and make them slightly more viable. Now I know this is kind of a bit more controversial, not everyone would be on board with this, but I would love to see more variety here. I would love to jump on over into Cafe, for example, when we're playing Bomb, and maybe every once in a while see the Bomb in Kitchen. That doesn't happen anymore. Like, no one's picking kitchen because it's a nightmare on defense. And so while I realize this is a lofty goal, I realize that it probably will never happen. Uh, if this game does get a lot of success and they have some extra time, I think it would be amazing to go on in, make some small, subtle tweaks, not massive ones, but some small tweaks to a few of the maps to make some of these objectives a bit more viable so that they can just simply give us more variety. The next thing I would love to see is to eliminate points when you're spotting with a drone. Now, I realize why Ubisoft does this. You're giving intel to your teammates, and if you're just playing casual and you're not with anyone on voice comms, this is a way that you can gather information and kind of let people know what's going on around them, and you want to reward people for doing said actions. The problem is, is that more often than not, as soon as someone actually spots with that Valkyrie camera, that really well-positioned one where the enemy has no idea it's there, 
the enemy team gets spotted, yes, and you get that information, but as soon as they're spotted, everyone looks for it, takes it down, and you no longer have that awesome camera spots. I might just be speaking as someone who loves to play as a Valkyrie or use drones constantly, but to have someone on my team just ruin an amazing camera like that gets very, very frustrating. And so I think spotting should still be in the game. I'm not saying that that needs to be taken away, but just eliminate the points that are associated with it. Don't give someone an incentive. And while I realize that this is not gonna stop the problem entirely, people are still gonna spot with drones. Like it's a fact of life. And in some cases it's actually really beneficial for you to do so. I just don't think there needs to be a point incentive when you do said action. But of course that is just my two cents. Now, the next thing I would love to see is to have a toggle option when I'm using certain gadgets. So the reason why I don't really play Monty very often is, well, I'm bad as Monty, but also because I have to hold down a button to activate his shield. Now, some of you are probably thinking, well, this is one of the weirdest critiques I've ever heard of. Well, for me, four is my gadget key. And so I have to hold down four on my keyboard. Well, that makes it very difficult for me to strafe to the right. Now, if, I, if there was ability for me to just talk the shield, I hit it, it extends the shield, I hit it again, and it retracts the shield, that would solve that problem. And while I know that some people will just say, oh, why don't you just put this on your mouse? Hold down a mouse button and you're good to go. For some reason, that just doesn't work for me. And so while I realize this is a smaller issue, I realize this might just be, this might just be my problem, I would love if there was an ability where I could just click or toggle my gadget so I could play Monty or someone like Pulse, for example, where I'm not giving up a key or I don't have to hold down a key constantly, that could kind of either mess up my movement or mess up my accuracy just ever so slightly. And so I, I would love to have that option in Rainbow Six Siege. Now, the final thing I would like to see, and if you haven't noticed the trend yet, is is the ability to customize my reticle. This is something that I loved in Battlefield. I know I'm comparing to Battlefield again, but I think DICE did a really good job with this, is when you aim down sight and you're using a certain optic, like a red dot or an ACOG scope, having the ability to change the color or change the size and brightness of it was an amazing feature back in Battlefield 4. I would love to have that introduced into Rainbow Six Siege. Changing the color, maybe you don't like red, you'd rather it to be maybe a neon green, for example, or pink, whatever you want, you think that that would be a more noticeable or make it easier for you to line up headshots, I think that that should be an option. Change the size. I really like what they did with the size, by the way. The recent update with this, with this most recent patch was fantastic. I love the holographic now, it's taken some time to get used to, but I really like what they've done with it, but I still think that players should have the option to change those sizes, make it bigger, make it smaller, make me change the brightness so it's a lot more noticeable so that at least players have those options. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is the bit for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Give me your thoughts on what we discussed today. Do you like the idea of the maps being updated slightly? Do you think that's the worst idea ever and they shouldn't spend their time on that? Would you like to have the ability to have a toggle option when you're playing as certain operators? Give me your guys' thoughts down below. Uh, but yep, until tomorrow, guys, have a good one, and take it easy.